Welcome back guys, in this teaching video I'm looking at 8.3 the binomial expansion. 8.3 represents chapter 8 section 3 of the person A level maths pure maths year 1 textbook. Now in 8.1 I've explained how to expand binomials using the Pascal's triangle. In this video I'll be explaining how to expand binomials using the binomial expansion formula. Let's have a look at the binomial expansion formula. Consider a plus b in brackets to the power n. This is given by n choose 0 a to the power n b to the power 0 plus n choose 1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 plus n choose 2 a to the power n minus 2 b to the power 2 plus n choose 3 a to the power n minus 3 b to the power 3 plus dot dot dot. Let's have a look at the pattern in this particular formula. Consider the choose part of this formula. If we look at the bottom number, each time we're increasing by 1. Now focus on the powers of A. Each time we're decreasing the powers of A by 1. Let's have a look at the powers of B. Each time we're increasing the powers of B by 1. Now we know that N R in bracket can be rewritten as N C R. This was covered in 8.2 factorial notation. Right, so I'm going to cover two examples on how to expand binomials using the binomial expansion formula. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. Find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 3 minus 2x in brackets to the power 5, giving each term in its simplest form. The first step is to write down the value of a, b and n. So a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 2x and n is equal to 5. Now we need to substitute the a, b and the n into the binomial expansion formula. So let's do this. We've got 3 minus 2x in brackets to the power 5 is equal to 5 choose 0, 3 to the power 5 minus 2x to the power 0 plus 5 choose 1, 3 to the power 4 minus 2x to the power 1 plus 5 choose 2, 3 to the power 3, minus 2x to the power 2, dot, dot, dot. The expansion continues. We only want the first three terms. Now I'm going to draw some boxes. Here's my first box. Here's my second box. And here is my third box. I'm going to simplify each box and I'm going to keep the minus 2x in brackets to the power 0, the minus 2x in brackets to the power 1, and the minus 2x in brackets to the power 2 as it is. So let's have a look at the first box. We have 5 choose 0, so I can type 5, shift, divide, and then type in 0. That gives me 1. So I take 1 and I multiply it by 3 to the power 5. So multiply it by 3 to the power 5. This gives me 243. So the first box simplifies to 243. Let's have a look at the second box. So we've got 5 choose 1. So I can type 5, shift, divide, and then 1. This gives me 5. I take 5 and I multiply it by 3 to the power 4. So 5 times 3 to the power 4. Ladies and gents, this gives me 405. So the second box simplifies to 405. Third box, we've got 5 choose 2, so 5, shift, divide, 2, this gives me 10, I take 10 and I multiply it by 3 to the power 3, so 10 times 3 to the power 3, this gives me 270, dot dot dot. Now I'm going to simplify each term, let's have a look at the first term. Minus 2x to the power 0 is just 1, so 243 times 1 is just 243. Let's have a look at the second term. So over here, we've got minus 2 to the power 1, which is just minus 2, x to the power 1, which is just x. So I can take 405 and multiply it by minus 2. This gives me minus 810x. Next one, I've got 270. I take 270 and I multiply it by minus 2 to the power 2. This gives me 1080. So positive 1080 x squared. 
dot, dot, dot. And that there completes the question. We've got the first three terms in ascending powers of x of this binomial expansion. Moving on to exam style question two. Find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of one plus x over two in brackets to the power 10, giving each term in its simplest form. The first step is to identify the value of a, b, and d, n. So a is equal to one, b is equal to x over two, which can be rewritten as a half x, n is equal to 10. Now we need to substitute the a, b, and the n into the binomial expansion formula. Let's have a look at this. So we have one plus a half x in brackets to the power 10 is given by 10 choose zero, one to the power 10, a half x to the power zero, plus 10 choose one, one to the power nine, a half x to the power one, plus 10 choose two, one to the power eight, a half x to the power two, plus 10 choose three, one to the power seven, a half x to the power three, dot, dot, dot. The expansion continues. We only want the first four terms. Now I'm going to put boxes around specific elements within this expansion. So I've got a box here, I've got a box over here, and I've got a box over here, and I also have a box over here. Right, so I'm going to first of all simplify the boxes, keeping the powers of a half x the same as it is, yeah? So let's start off with the first box. 10 choose zero. So 10, shift, divide, zero. This gives me one. One multiplied by one to the power 10 is just one. Okay, so for the first term, we have one, a half x to the power zero. Plus, Let's have a look at the second box. 10 choose one. So 10, shift, divide, one. This gives us 10. Multiplied by one to the power nine is just 10. So that second box simplifies to 10. And we've got a half x to the power one. Plus, third box. 10 choose two. So 10, shift, divide, two. This gives us 45. 45 multiplied by one to the power eight is just 45. So the third box simplifies to 45. Onto the final box, 10 choose three. So 10, shift, divide three. That gives us 120. 120 multiplied by one to the power seven is just 120. Okay, so that fourth box simplifies to 120. Dot, dot, dot. Right, now I'm going to simplify each term. Let's start off with the first term. A half x to the power zero is just one. So one times one is just one. Next term, I've got a half to the power one, which is just a half x to the power one is just x. So I take 10 and I multiply by a half. This gives me five. So I've got positive five x. Next term, I take 45 and I multiply by a half to the power two. So 45 multiplied by a half to the power two is just 45 over four. So I've got plus 45 over four x squared. Final term, 120 multiplied by one over two to the power three. This gives me 15. So I've got positive 15 x to the power three dot 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 and that there completes exam style question two we've got the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of one plus a half x in brackets to the power 10. that there ladies and gents completes my teaching video on 8.3 the binomial expansion if you found the video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time i post teaching videos